Hello everyone, welcome back to my channel. Last time we talked about how to use Stable Diffusion to generate amazing architecture renderings with simple sketch input. And this time we are gonna talk about how to generate this amazing renderings. Be careful, it is a video with the sequence of screenshots from Rhino. First, I generated a sequence of screenshots. You can easily make this inside Rhino by using set path animation. And then I will copy the location of this folder. I'll come over here to image to image and then under here, click make sure that your stable diffusion model has been set up as this DV arc model that we talked about in the last tutorial. And then I will set up here the input dictionary and also the output dictionary is actually just new folder three. So inside of this folder, I have a hundred images that has been generated by Rhino. And this one right now is just a empty folder. We will put our outputs inside of it. And right here, resize, because our is a landscape, I will just make it like 872. And then seed, minus one means that every time you will get a random seed. We want our seed to be consistent. So I'll just make a number like 278. And of course we have to turn on the control net. Right here, click enable. I will choose Kenny and also I will choose Kenny right here. And we talked about the denoising strength last time. If it's set to one, this will be very close to our prompt. If it has been set to zero, it will just be our input images. So right here, I will set it to one. And right here, I will paste my prompts. Architecture on grassland with flowers, realistic, amazing sky, white facade. And right here, I can just start click click generate. This is a new folder three. Let's see how long it takes to generate a single image and how long it takes to generate a hundred images. We get our first one. Let's click it. Well, it looks all right to me. And here's the second one. And here we go. We finished finally. Let's take a look. So it looks good in the beginning, but as you can see here, it start to have some figures that shouldn't be there. And they have like all kinds of city views on the back. It actually looks pretty cool as a single frame rendering. But as you can see that, this is certainly not satisfying as a video. Okay, especially this part, because it doesn't have the control mechanism of the surrounding environment. So it start to just go YOLO. But as far as I can say, every single image is just a very interesting one, especially this one. It took this key movement of those facades, but at the same time, they have some very soft openings around. It looks pretty cool. But again, it just doesn't fit our requirement, which is generating a satisfactory video. So it took the algorithm 16 minutes to make this 100 image. Because I use Unreal Engine 5 quite often, so if we want to achieve like high quality renderings, I think Unreal Engine 5 is where you go. But also at the same time in Unreal Engine, even if it is so handy, you have to set up the lightings, the material and the textures by yourself. But here you simply bring in the image sequence of the screenshot. At the same time, you just simply put into some prompts. And to be honest, because of the nature of architecture schools, I'm pretty sure some of the professors will like this kind of rendering even more. Right, because this has so-called depths, right? You can see different kind of variations over this kind of form. I'm pretty sure that in months, if not years, that we will have this kind of control net that be able to take a memory of the last frame or 10 frames ago. So the quality of this kind of video rendering will be much better. Thank you so much for your attention and I'm looking forward to see you in our next tutorial.